to give you news of a pure boy. She said, how can I have a boy while no man has touched me and I have not been unchaste? And he said, Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and as you can tell from the title today, I'll be reacting to 10 surprising facts about the story of Jesus in the Quran. But before I get into that, make sure to check out our description box. We've got other things that we do, and you'll find the links there. You can find us on social media, links and links are below and i mean you'll find everything in the links below so without wasting time let's get into the video whether religious or not the majority of the population on the planet has heard the name jesus before largely in part due to christianity however within islam the story of jesus is also shared and in this episode of ftd facts we're going to be looking at 10 surprising and interesting facts of the story of jesus according to the quran welcome back guys to another episode my name is leroy kenton and now for this episode i'm going to be going through some passages in the quran that share highlights of the story of jesus all the way back to before he was even born now leave a like on this episode if you love learning and also if this is your first time here at FTD Facts, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to be notified of our daily episodes. All right guys, so we got tons of passages to go through. So let's take a look, starting at the first one. Starting at number 10, this passage goes as follows. Mention O Muhammad when the wife of Imran said, my Lord indeed I have pledged to you what is in my womb consecrated for your service. So accept this, from me indeed you are the hearing the knowing but when she delivered her she said my lord i have delivered a female and allah was most knowing of what she delivered and the male is not like the female and i have named her mary and i seek refuge for her in you and for her descendants from satan the expelled from the mercy of allah so her lord accepted her with good acceptance and caused her to grow in a good manner and put her in the care of zachariah every time zachariah entered upon her in the prayer chamber he found with her provision and he said oh mary from where is this coming to you she said it is from allah Indeed, Allah provides for whom he wills without account. And that's found in the Quran, Surah 3, verses 35 to 37. Here we have the birth of Mary, a.k.a. Miriam, the mother of Jesus. Now, moving on now to the passage at number 9. It says, Mention, O Muhammad, in the book, the story of Mary, when she withdrew from her family to a place towards the east, and she took in seclusion from them a screen. Then we sent to her our angel, and he represented himself to her as a well-proportioned man. And she said, Indeed, I seek refuge in the most merciful from you. So leave me, if you should be fearing of Allah. He said, I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy. She said, How can I have a boy while no man has touched me and I have not been unchaste? And he said, Thus it will be, your Lord says, It is easy for me, and we will make him a sign to the people and a mercy from us. And it is a matter already decreed. She conceived him and she withdrew with him to a remote place. And this passage is taken from Surah 19, verses 16 to 22. Here you see Mary's giving the announcement that she is going to give birth to Jesus. Now, the passage at number 8 is taken from Surah 19, verses 23 to 26, and it goes as follows. And the pains of childbirth drove her to the trunk of a palm tree. She said, Oh, I wish I had died before this, and I was in oblivion forgotten. But he called from below her, do not grieve, your Lord has provided beneath you a stream, and shake toward you a trunk of a palm tree, it will drop upon you ripe fresh dates. So eat and drink and be contented. And if you see from among humanity anyone say, Indeed, I have vowed to the most merciful abstention, so I will not speak today to any man. So continuing the story, in Surah 19 verses 23 to 35, it says, Then she brought him to her people, carrying him. They said, Oh Mary, you have certainly done a thing unprecedented. O oh, sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil, nor was your mother unchaste. So she pointed to him, and they said, How can we speak to one who is in the cradle 
a child. Jesus said, Indeed, I am the servant of Allah. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet, and he has made me blessed wherever I am, and has enjoined upon me prayer and zakah as long as I remain alive, and made me dutiful to my mother, and he has not made me a wretched tyrant. And peace is on me the day I was born, and the day I will die, and the day I am raised alive. And continuing that story in Surah 19 verses 36, it says, Jesus said, Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him that is a straight path. So we see baby Jesus in a cradle talking to people. And according to the Quran, from birth, he was a prophet chosen by God. So the next Ooh. passage goes as follows. But when Jesus felt persistence in disbelief from them, he said, Who are my supporters for the cause of Allah? The disciples said, we are supporters for Allah. We have disbelieved in Allah and testified that we are Muslims submitting to him. Our Lord, we have believed in what you revealed and have followed the messenger of Jesus. So register us among the witnesses to the truth. And you can find that passage in the Quran, Surah 3, verses 52 to 53. Also in the Quran, Surah 3, verse 59, it says, Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust then he said to him, be, and he was. And these passages that I read highlighted that Jesus had a following of disciples. And also he's compared to Adam, the first man who didn't have a birth father. He just kind of just was created. So there we see similarities between Adam and Jesus according to the Quran. Now halfway in, number five, this passage says, and mention when Jesus, the son of Mary said, O children of Israel, indeed I am the messenger of Allah to you confirming what came before me of the Torah and bringing good tidings of the messenger to come after me whose name is Ahmed. But when he came to them with clear evidences, they said, this is obvious magic. So this passage highlights that the message that Jesus came with actually confirmed what was written before in the Torah. And also the name Ahmed is mentioned. And that's also a name for the prophet Muhammad. And since Jesus lived among the Jews, he was to provide them with evidence and miracles and signs. But they looked at it and said, okay, well, clearly this is magic. So as the story of Jesus continues in the Quran, we see that he's grown up into a man. He's performing his duties as a prophet, but he's getting some resistance here. So let's see how the story continues to unfold about Jesus. Now, number four brings us a passage that says, mention when Allah said, O oh Jesus, indeed, I will take you and raise you to myself and purify you from those who disbelieve and make those who follow you in submission to Allah alone superior to those who disbelieve until the day of resurrection. Then to me is your return and I will judge between you concerning that in which you used to defer. And that's found in the Quran, Surah 3, verses 55. So we see in this passage, God promises Jesus that he would raise him up to himself, as well as purify him and make the people that disbelieve in the message that he brought inferior to the people who actually believe his message. All right, moving on now to our next passage. When the apostles said, O oh Jesus, son of Mary, is thy Lord able to send down to us from heaven a table spread with food? Jesus, son of Mary, said, Reverence God, if you are believers, they said, we desire to eat from it so that our hearts may be at peace and we may know that thou hast spoken truthfully unto us and we may be among the witnesses thereto. Jesus, son of Mary, said, O God, our Lord, send down unto us a table from heaven spread with food to be a feast for us, for the first of us and the last of us and the sign from thee and provide for us, for thou art the best of providers. God said, I shall indeed send it down unto you, but whosoever among you disbelieves thereafter, I shall surely punish him with the punishment wherewith I have not punished any other in all the worlds. And that's found in the Quran, Surah 5, verses 112 to 115. So this is a scene that's comparable to the Last Supper in Christianity. And here we have Jesus' disciples asking him to send food down from heaven and Jesus asked for this and God says, yes, I'm going to grant this. But if people don't believe after this, like this is like the miracle of all miracles, then the punishment that's going to fall on them is going to be like nothing that has ever happened in the world. Now the next Ooh. passage goes as follows, and the disbelievers planned, but Allah planned. And Allah is the best of planners 
And as for those who disbelieved, I will punish them with severe punishment in this world and the hereafter, and they will have no helpers. But as for those who believed and did righteous deeds, he will give them in full their rewards, and Allah does not like the wrongdoers. And you can find that in the Quran, Surah 3, verses 54, as well as verses 56 to 57. So again, this is just reinforcement that the message that Jesus brought, as well as even the other prophets, was very important. And if people disbelieve this, and there's going to be a punishment that follows. But those who believe and embrace it, they're going to be rewarded with the best of all rewards. And finally, the passage at number one when it comes to the story of Jesus according to the Quran, it goes as follows. And for their sayings, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who defer over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption, and they did not kill him for certain. Rather, Allah raised him to himself, and ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. And there is none from the people of the scripture, but that he will surely believe in Jesus before his death. And in the day of resurrection, he will be against them a witness. And you can find that passage in the Quran, Surah 4, verses 157 to 159. So the story of Jesus on earth concludes with that. He wasn't crucified, but rather Allah raised him up to himself, as one of the verses that I mentioned earlier in this episode stated. And that's it guys, that's all I have for you in this episode of 10 surprising facts about the story of Jesus according to the Quran. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments down below, join in on the conversation, let me know everything all your thoughts, all your opinions, your feedbacks, all that good stuff. And if you enjoyed this episode, I'm going to be leaving you with a video that I highly recommend that I do not want you to miss. It's going to be coming up at the end screen here. So definitely check it out. Go enjoy it. Keep on learning, guys. And I'm out of here. So I'll see you next time in another episode. This was a good video. Um, really interesting. I was so uh, surprised by um, fact number seven, but otherwise, I'm familiar with the rest of the facts. I've come across them in previous videos, or someone has actually commented them. Although, I wonder why we differ over fact one. Many people differ, many people have many different stories. Others are saying he wasn't killed, others are saying he was crucified, others are saying he died in this way. At the end of the day, he still went to heaven. That's what we should know. I always say, always keep an open mind. If we were not open, we wouldn't come across all these things. There's always something to learn from another person. And a big shout out to Lyra for this video. He put in work in this and a thumbs up for him. Um back to fact number seven um uh, i'm confused how can a newborn baby be able to talk can someone just clarify that for me or what am i missing otherwise i love this video i enjoy being reminded of these facts and i'm glad to have come upon them for i don't know the hundredth time not the hundredth time but for maybe second time third time fourth time i don't know what time but yeah it was really amazing. Hope it also reminds you guys of these facts as well. Let me know what you feel about this video and I mean these facts and make sure to suggest something that you want to see on this channel and we'll do it for you guys. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.